All right, Wasteland 3. We're going to go check out Denver for the very first time. Make sure you do this, by the way. Don't forget this down there. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be visiting Denver for the first time out of Ranger HQ. Um, hopefully we don't encounter anyone because I actually need to buy new weapons and equipment. Um, don't think what I have right now is sufficient. Ooh, we don't want to go there. That is not the right place. I'm assuming I just probably follow the main road here. Definitely. This is, Colorado. This is your Patreon. Radiation. Wishing you safety and warmth on this cold night. I want to assure you that our borders are secure, our fuel tanks are overflowing, and there is plenty of food and water for everyone. It has been a long, hard... My name is Bo Hoon, and this here is vengeance for what you did to my family. The boy stands in the headlights of the Kodiak, an RPG pointed directly at you. His chest leaves with anger. Hmm. Kids got spunk. Disarm him and let him go. I'll find you again. You won't see me coming. The boy is uncowed. Alright. That was weird. Wonder what would have happened if I made a different choice there, like running him over. Could I have taken his RPG? Who knows? Denver. Denver, please. Yep. Moving on here. Let's play a melancholy one now, okay? A song about love, loss, and moving on. A song to touch the heart. We made it! As you enter a wooded ravine, something makes you slow. The Kodiak, the movement and noise, a flash of light. Maybe it was just a feeling, but the night seems darker now. The hairs rise on your neck. Show no fear. Forward. You roar down the road, but you won't fear. Slow you down. Darkness does. You creep ahead just to avoid hitting anything. After a tight turn, your headlights flash across the big metal. Structures flanking the road. Structures, no robots. Other steps behind the Kodiak. Their servos whine as they lock their guns on you. Amplified voice tells you to step out of the vehicle. You don't really have a choice. Whoa! Not cool. We were so close. We we're so close. Can I have to deal with these robots? Not ideal. Not ideal. But hopefully, we, we can, uh, hopefully this isn't too difficult. <laughs> All right, light him up. Wow. And I thought Colorado trash was sad. You made a bad deal, Rangers. My father's using you for cannon fodder. Go back to Arizona before you take a bullet for him. The graves are cold up here. And on your way home, tell him to hire a better class of spy. Uh, damn. Now we know why your father told us to bring you in. Put your hands up. Points for bravado, but my robots will turn you into a thin red mist before you get a shot off. Want to reconsider? Okay, we're done here. You can go. Ha! Thank you for your permission. That's not gonna work. Squad, roll out. I. Well, nice meeting, meeting Liberty, I guess, but I'm not sure it's really made a material impact on what we have to do. Although I'm not fond that it put us into a loading screen, because loading screens here take, take quite a while. But that's the not so good part about it. The good part is, I don't think we had to actually fight them, so. 
That's good. Uh, alright. Denver Ruins. Why is it called Ruins? I hope we can buy some good stuff here. I, I really just want to check it out and see what's in here. Because we did get the antique appraiser perk and we sold a bunch of stuff and uh, we're actually quite rich. We have over 100k in cash now, so we're not necessarily struggling anymore. I just want to buy the best weapons if I can. We can rule the wasteland. Outsiders are forbidden to interfere! At ease, Sister Glory. I believe I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent some hired goons to inquire after his son, Valor. I'll be with you in just a moment, strangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. Kiss ass. We respectfully request an audience with the God President to negotiate on behalf of the Patriarch. Well, well, so polite. Excellent. We have something we'd like to discuss with you, too. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? Yes, Nancy. Uh, present the accused. I think it talks. Whoa, it talks. Thank you, husband. First, the heathen godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? Your god is awesome. Thank you. But please, no further interruptions. The other one, husband is a communist robot from the machine commune who trespassed on our land. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy. And I entered your lands to heal the injured humans. Oh my goodness, they're accusing a robot of trespassing. It is irrelevant whether one is communist. Co -co communist? Communist? Uh-oh. Bigger word. There we go. For the hippie, no one can be denied the promise that is, well, America. Let's give her a second chance. Go and uh, sin no more. <laughs> Fools! The gods of the sky will devour you. Uh, <laughs> thus is justice done in America. God bless us, and God bless God President Reagan. God president. Sorry to keep you waiting, but matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband, God President Reagan. Welcome to the shining city on the hill. Uh, Reagan's justice was impressive. Where could we get a weapon like that? Funny you should ask. I have a proposal in mind that could get you one, as well as help you with your Valor Buchanan problem. Come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We'll meet you in the sacred server room and discuss it there. Good day. Okay. Cool. Jelly beans! We haven't had any visitors since we paused the Patriarch soil. And Mother Nancy herself. How do we, where do we need to go here? What an honor! Joe Reagan, can you go in here? Looks like you can. Rangers, you'll find the God President in the back. Big door, can't miss it. Yeah, I don't know if that's really what we want to do. Hey, traveler, why not visit Denver, the cultural center of Free Colorado? Warning. Dangers of Denver include hostile wildlife, scavenging thugs, Reagan worshipping fascists, rusty nails, collapsing buildings, and background radiation. Denver, 
the jewel of the north. Marcus? Yeah, what is that? We're not gonna go there. That's an oil field. Lock picking. We do have lock picking. Five. What do we got here? I'll take those. Praise the Gipper, we struck oil! What? When? Just now. Remember the test wells we were drilling out in Zone 5? The last one came up a gusher. The foreman thinks there could be enough for a hundred and... Great, great. Now, shut it down. Wait, what? Mother Nancy Reliance has spoken. We're cutting off the oil supply to the godless commies in Colorado Springs. So we're suspending upper... Hey there, friends. Sister Nancy Forge, Ronnie's fourth wife. Impressive. Damn right it is. But thanks for saying so. They really like it when you say nice things about them. Anyway, I'm the traitor here on top of everything else. You need something? I might have it. And if I don't, <laughs> you probably don't need it. Let's see what you got for sale. Oh my goodness. Wait. Do they actually have good stuff? I actually don't know. Let's see here. We already have the army revolver, so that doesn't really help me there. Sawblade Cestus. That is a brawling weapon. And we don't have brawling. Although, 63 to 86. I think this is much better. Although, we don't meet the melee combat requirement. I'm just going to go buy that. And then this rocket is actually better than our RPG, so we'll take that. And uh, let's see, we have two snipers on the team here. So I will take six sniper rifles. Okay, I'll take that. Submachine gun, six automatic weapons. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy that. And uh, 21, okay, this is obviously way better. We can equip already. I don't think we have anyone here that uses big guns. So we're not gonna do that. She can use the shotgun though. Oh my goodness, auto volver. We will take that. See, anything else? This one requires five automatic weapons. Maybe I'll uh, get this in case, you know. But wow, that was, uh, that is great. As far as armor, Let's see. Tactical armor legs. I think these are the same. Trooper legs, though, give. Okay, I'm just gonna buy this person's stuff. I don't know. I mean, this reduces action points. Not really sure we want that. Action points minus three. Huh. We don't have a weird science dude. Combat speed. Yeah, I'll just buy and we'll, we'll reconsider what we have. He also has a bunch of ammo. I think that's always good. Frag grenade, sure. Molotov. Oh, gas grenade. You can poison them. Oh, you can freeze them. It's awesome. I haven't really been modding at all, but who here has weapon modding? I don't even know if any of these people have weapon modding. But, alright. 
So that was awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, change weapons for folks. So I know, okay, let's start from the left here. Don't have the, the melee combat just yet. So he gets to still use what, whatever he was using. But in this case, I believe we got a sniper. Where is that thing at? Oh, this thing just needs to get field stripped. So many things in here that are just regular. Honestly, just needs to get field stripped. 125 to 172. Wow. That's great. Armor wise, looks like we are good. There's a better leg armor for you, sir. Actually, here you go. Armor plus five hit chance. Plus five, good, good, good. Here's armor six. With the head, no, I think what we have is good. All right, here, I believe we're gonna switch out the rocket. It is better than the RPG. Need to be field strip this. Let's drift this too. Yeah, this is a unique weapon. I should field strip it. I care about that. Battle rifle. So we only have four automatic weapons. Yes. Oh. Now we have five. means we can equip the lead sprayer much better than what we have here great and instead of this dude with the grenade I kind of want the cryo grenade and freeze people that sounds awesome and uh, we have a Molotov Let's see here there you go. Okay. Automatic weapons, 21-26. Looks like a slight step up. Although this one is much better, the Enforcer. We don't need this Tommy gun anymore. 28-39, great. So we actually just skipped the uh, thing there. Okay, armor wise, six three. This one gives four. Get to wear that. Head. I think we're good there. So we just got an upgrade here on the weapons. And then Lucia, instead of this army revolver, you get to use an auto revolver. I think the shotgun. I think that's how we do this. Yeah, Lucia's revolver, we're gonna be able to strip these garbage items that need us in the inventory. Armor on the legs aren't the best. All right, final one. I don't think it doesn't have the sniper weapon yet. That is uh, good. She sticks with this one for now. Awesome. Well, I think that's going to be it for this one. Went to Denver, bought some stuff, met Liberty. See. Ya.